Like that girl who poured uh, beer on her pants and <laughs> rubbed it in. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She poured beer on her pants and then she rubbed her pussy in Niall's face. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that mystery lady. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck! One well, time we were having a really fun party and this girl crashed it. And Miss she, she Rat spe Fink. She spilled fucking beer all over her pussy. <laughs> and then she started rubbing her pussy through her jeans to like kind of wipe it off, but she got too into it and she did it in Niall's face while he was sitting on the couch and he looked really scared. Because Niall was drinking his coffee and enjoying his own coffee. He was having his little his little safe coffee zone. How the fucking... fuck do these people get in your, your general quarters? Dude, like, didn't she came back? I don't know, man. It's scary. <laughs> She came back from a prior hookah experience. Oh. <laughs> she crashed her party, ruined all the fun, and she rubbed the pussy in Niall's face, and he screamed and ran out the door. <laughs> Sounds like she was trying to get the party started. <laughs> no. It's like when the party ends, and then the wild person comes in, and nobody wants him there. That's Personally, like, I think she had one of those stinky pussies, so she's trying to make the beer soak up that stink. Because... <laughs> There's nothing like some fucking rancid beer to really just freshen up she had fucking <laughs> dirty pussy. Rancid beer. She had Wawa freezer burn fish steak pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that? Freezer burn? No, I haven't. What are you talking about? How do you come up with these words that just don't what, fit the situation what so easily? 3 a.m. nightly excursions. Corey, do a hypothetical quick. Oh, fuck. Oh god, I'm not good at these. Oh. Shad hates hypotheticals. Really? Yeah. Shad's always like, this is totally illogical. This would never happen. Why waste time discussing this thing that is not <laughs> so, based some, in reality? Some of his hypotheticals are literally, like, that's not Literally, that's like about. saying like, Shad, no what, doors, what if your eyeballs no were boobs? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be boring. There's a lot of cloth over your eyes a lot of the time. <laughs> I'd be there's dead. your there's your I'd hypothetical. Be dead. Well, people like rub yeah. their eyes and it feels really good. It would probably oh, feel the true. exact same. You it's like elephantitis, <laughs> but like just over both you of just, your eyes. You can't do anything about it. Like no. you can't do that trick where you close one eye so you can like see the side of your nose. You can't do that when your <laughs> eyes are nipples. Shad, if a really fine lady walks in and she's like, "Hey, baby," and you're like, "This is a very nice looking specimen," and she takes out her titty and puts it in her <laughs> mouth, does she go up or down, <laughs> up or down in rank? She takes out her own her own breast and p puts it in her mouth. Yeah, like she. I would think she's insane. <laughs> so, so she goes down. I would, I would just think like she's clearly mentally ill or but something. But she's doing it to like be like, I think you are very sexy, Shad. I've also got your voice. <laughs> I would. I would. Uh, it's just Shad. With where, a wig. where is this? Uh, in what, your what office. Is, in my office. Yeah, you're she, there working. Actually, you're she got in the house. She, you're uh, uh, how did she get in the house? She um, snuck in when you weren't looking. I don't fucking know. <laughs> she she comes out from underneath your desk and she has her pants out already. <laughs> Save some time. She's, she's wondering, been there the whole she's time. She's one of these like fantasy girls where you think where when you're you're like, oh man. And I'm very horny, and you push a button in your wall, and then a portal opens. She steps out. She's like, "I'm here to serve you, master." But she puts one of her boobs in her mouth. That's, she that's, won't take that's them out. not what I would like. That's not what a fantasy. <laughs> so girl you send her take. back to the. Earth. Send her back. Okay. Send it back. <laughs> Get out of here. Go back to your portal. <laughs> Here's a question I know Shad, Shad would actually answer. Yeah. So based on evolution, what do you think the next evol? Like just from amoebas to you know land walking amphibian fish to monkeys to humans what do you think the next phase of evolution for humans is like people say like aliens like the big head watermelon head yeah. aliens Great. are like what we would become everyone should give their two cents on this yeah absolutely like but this is next, one that chad wouldn't just immediately being, be like, like this is illogical being? yeah like what do you think the ne like we would look like monkeys like humans next yeah, yeah oh. what's next what would be our difference i, I think, think we'd be a charred corpse <laughs> why because we're not going to last much longer. That's, That's not true, too. If, That's, if, we, if we live. <laughs> if we live. When the sun explodes. We're not going to evolve into the next fucking 30 billion we'll years. We'll fucking see about that. Did you check the weather report? The sun is exploding. But next to add something like that, you'd have to see that the um, gene pool. Oh, sorry, Corey hasn't answered it yet. He said a charge. He said fucking but, charge. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was your answer. I was, I was gonna... being. A, no, it wasn't. He was my being answer. mischievous. If I was to say what we what the next evolutionary thing would be, if it's not that, it would it would replace all like things that fail like when your body fails you get replacements for it and eventually we'd all be androids you think we're gonna get like chameleon regrowth ability yeah yeah like we're gonna like start they're gonna realize like hey we have this 3d printer that prints organs oh yeah, that's and that's actually gonna, not insane yeah, yeah that's and, like and happening right and yeah. they're gonna be like why can't we just stick this inside of someone's body so when their arm gets blown off it immediately grows back
back like right. some crazy. Or just stick them in like one of those Goku tubes, like uh, the capsule yeah. tubes, where yeah. it just like you know scans it your body. It takes like a month, but it's yeah, worth but it, it does like every cell, like you know every cell in your body that's dying or, yeah, exactly. or malfunctioning. I, I do feel like that's the next evolution. The next evolution is slowing growth down and speeding up um, durability for the human body. Like we're okay. gonna realize that like our bodies. So we stay are younger, worthless. longer, and we live longer. Yeah, they're gonna find a way to make it so like we no longer bodies don't fail anymore now they find ways to like keep the hearts pumping even when the but even if they had the technology they'd have to keep it so limited because if it became like relatively accessible mm -hmm. the population problem is already you know i mean it's not as bad as it was before but it's still happening in the moment people live even longer that population problem is going to get out of control and i feel like that really would create like this one percent like the one percent would live for like 500 years so we meanwhile they got bulldozers going through like you know shitty towns and yeah. hoods basically just plowing down the people that aren't dying so when the purge happens yeah inevitably. no the purge yeah the, year. what is it the new world order <laughs> that they keep talking about the Illuminati's the one day where everybody kills each other yeah it's okay yeah. <laughs> that'll save that and the people who live get their fucking bionic commando arms that's mine that's mine I, what's that's yours, not too Chris? far off from what's me. yours mine um I was thinking more like appearance wise yeah 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 so let's just go with that right we're gonna get fins <laughs> Fuck, Corey. That was mine. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. Corey has three. Corey got three. Best of the three. Well, wait, wait, wait. We're going to be able to fly, Chris. <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, if you look at, like, monkeys, right? They've got long-ass arms and little-ass legs. That's they've, true, they've got yeah. no butts. Makes no sense. We and, Like, they've got little dog-asses. Like, <laughs> yeah. Little triangles. We, we grew, like, these big, fat, cushiony asses. So we're going to get bigger asses and smaller arms and legs? No, no I, I'm serious, right? <laughs> so if you look at a monkey's asshole, it's like... <laughs> It's always a prolapse, like always, right? Yeah. They've got these, um, these like shoulder blades for like butt cheeks, it's and true. their legs suck, and they they just look generally gross, right? Yeah. And the further you look down evolution, like this isn't something that I'm thinking because I'm myself a human, right? But they do get genuinely more attractive and less gross the further you go down, right? I don't know. There might have been a caveman somewhere along the line that was kind of a freak of nature who was like this hot ass. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But what I'm saying is they like the, the further you go, um, the more our bodies like change into these like curvaceous, like nicer to look at things. So I think in the future, everyone's going to have fucking giant asses. Huge long cocks. <laughs> I guess from an evolutionary standpoint, though, if... Fucking shaved heads. But, like, people are wanting to hook up with more attractive people, right? Yeah. So that makes sense thing. that, like, you know, they they are procreating... Look, a lot of people are fucking. Yeah. But if, if we're getting to the point where it's less about survival and more about, like, yeah. what we think people look like based on their physical features, then that is something that technically, over time... Yeah. And I think, um, you know the way people, like, fuck each other's asses a lot now? Yeah. I think the human body is going to eventually be like, we need to evolve a tiny hole to let the sperm leak through into the here. If we could lose the need to shit, that would be great. If yeah. we could like excrete waste in other ways that was more efficient, like use it as energy, and then whatever the last bit is, just hakalugi, and then that that's it. Yeah, you know? I really like the system they had in Scary Movie Three where they pee out of their fingertips. <laughs> yeah, but I what about that, like it was actually like oh wow that, that what was kind of. <laughs> What about, that would be yeah. easier to what, aim. What about like corn and, and seeds? You can't you just eat. like what? And there's a little corn on the ground. Corn, you just wait. There's one more thing. You know the way people's hair has started receding over the millions of years? Yeah. On, onto their head. It used to be on their faces, but now that's on their head. Yeah. I think eventually it's going to be like one tiny little point on top of your head where there's <laughs> a lot of hair growing out. <laughs> Just like this this dagger that we like fucking like gel it up to turn it into yeah. weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like alfalfa from fucking Little Rascals. Yeah, he had it first. He set the goal. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to evolve out the need for more organs. I like Chris's Oh theory. yeah, because there's a bunch of organs we don't even fucking need. Yeah. Are there are The gallbladder. People... We don't need the gallbladder. Yeah, are some people born without wisdom teeth? Because those yeah. Are fucking useless and actually dangerous. They can like push your teeth into your skull. They, they completely fucked with my teeth. What about they tonsils? Push... Tonsil? We don't use tonsils anymore. Or appendixes. That's another one. Appendix to ton Yeah, tonsils, appendix. I mean, we have tonsils, but male we don't necessarily nipples. need them. Yeah, male nipples. What the fuck? Well, that's because you you go through like a, a female like so everyone starts out as like you know. But you you wouldn't need it. You move into it with a base. Oh, that's itself. right. Your gender isn't necessarily yeah, set. Yeah, it's gender neutral. Right. So you you have a nipple you have and no cock. Yeah. Born. And then your yeah. fucking cock like. Splits in half, and we're yeah. gonna get a line in there. Shit out every bad toxin in our bodies all into one little black ball. <laughs> yeah. 
and then burn it for fuel. Yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, <laughs> it's like trying. a perfect black pearl, and then you can use them for energy. Yeah, Nibbler had the right idea. Yeah, exactly. Throw it on the ground and disappear like a ninja. We're gonna shrink. Didn't they like fuel their ships with that or something? It had like the density of a small star or something. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're gonna shrink into little nibblers. What do you think, Shed? You see, I think everything like Corey and Chris have been saying it was more out of like personal convenience. Like, what's what what will happen? What is good for? Uh, excuse us? me. That's what evolution is. No, no, excuse no, me. It's not though. Bigger dicks shitting out our organs. Let, let me explain. Oh, it's not. What yeah, evolution right, yeah. is. Evolution is when the gene pool is plastic to the environment. Meaning, the environment shapes what the gene pool will be like. That's why the monkeys needed to be like that to climb around. I don't That's think it's that. It's, it's when you're like, uh, you, you, one of your things mutates in your body, and then if that happens to suit your environment, because they will survive. That's why the, the gene pool is plastic yeah. to the environment, yeah, because yeah. if it happens to suit. Yeah. But our environment isn't harsher anymore like it used to be. Oh, you're right. So we're not going upwards. We have now come to this stagnating phase where we are making everything comfortable for us yeah, yeah. with technology. We're going to turn into Javas. Like. No, so it will be, no, it will <laughs> be like this. Java the Hutt? Yeah, we're going to just... <laughs> Just like fucking turn Slime into Java. We we live in the age where it's like you know the little bit thing like a slight weather change is called for the news. Like it's like listen, it was slightly cold today and I couldn't wear like a comfortable outfit. It's like this is a big deal to me. But we live in the day and age where people like us, for example, where we can just work on the computer. We can just do that. We don't have to move anymore. Like we don't have to move much. So a lot of our functions we have we don't even need. We don't need and, to climb trees. And not only that, we but... We need legs, though, because we do use legs periodically. We have proven, as a species, that brains brings you further than bronze. Yeah. So, the evolution that Chris was talking about, it was going to go this upwards thing. No, that is false. We, oh, no, it's not, because... Do you think we we're just going to devolve into, like, a head? Not devolve. We have actually mastered technology to our benefit, and we cannot even imagine our life without technology. Yeah. Exactly, that's you'll why I think... You'll be born into technology, you'll be that, dying That's why I technology. think we will start replacing the pointless things. Our brains will be replaced with computers. The information we learn at school will be pointless because we'll already know everything because we'll have it all calculated before anyone else. It's like we'll just, everything will be given to us and we will basically be cybernetic. That is always going to be the future. But you are also all like approaching the future, I think, in kind of a weird but way. But I'm, I'm going to die before that happens, so I'm... Are you sure? I mean, it, of course this is all just <laughs> hypothetical. But, but This is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but you're approaching the future in a way where you're saying like, what we're doing now, that's going to be the future. Yeah. But that is backwards. No, I, What I we're doing that. now created the past, because the past is all we have. The future doesn't exist. All we have is the past. Yeah. So what we created now, what we're doing now, creates our knowledge of the past because it's echoes. Yeah. You know, but so, you don't think there's foresight based on what we're doing now that's going to inform what the future could be? I mean, is, obviously none of that us is, know. That is, that, but you, that, you can't know that. Like, that is, the future does not exist. I was just saying, the, <laughs> the way people are now is they're, like, super obsessed with, like, appearance and looks, right? Like, everyone's like, I want a really hot girl for a boyfriend. So... In the future, everyone's gonna see, like, people are gonna mutate and grow fucking giant asses overnight, right? They're gonna be like, whoa, I wanna fuck this new creature right over here with the giant perfect ass. Overnight. And, overnight. And then the next day, they're gonna have a little baby with a giant perfect ass, right? No, but you're... And, you're overnight. And, <laughs> the, yeah. the, the attractive kind, like, the ones that are attractive and seek out attractiveness are the majority. That is false. That's true. That will be the fossil food. Like, the food for, like, the, the stronger no, the, ones. The, the stronger ones will not even have kids. Ones. Because, oh, I don't wanna ruin my body. Use a condom them, please. Darwin has ruled I actually you out. do know a lot of people you that don't purchase, even want kids anymore because of that. They don't want to ruin their bodies. You will purchase so. your robot baby, and you'll be fine because <laughs> it'll never age. Robo and baby. then when you're tired of it, you'll just upgrade to... Have you seen AI? It's exactly like that. That's the future. Me and Corey are going to get killed by the attractive people. <laughs> Listen, Chad, I'm going to get a big dick, and there's nothing you can do to fucking stop me. He's going to get a big dick and a big ponytail sticking out of the tip of and his And all head. you slug beings are going to fucking burn when salt falls from the heavens. If for some reason, like, you know, like our ozone <laughs> layer in the next 50 years like started depleting in you know whatever the case is Our I'm just saying, layer is gonna open God's gonna spit a big loogie yeah out. hypothetically <laughs> if something like that happened hypothetically. and all of a sudden like we were getting a shit ton of radiation yeah. like in a short amount of time we would die. people would have to adapt in a certain way like evolution wise like we'd have to be able to withstand a certain amount of radiation yeah. and like the body would have to form to that for all we know in the next 300 years it could happen soon there's already going to be people that have like you know scales on their skin in order to survive the radiation that comes yeah. through no yeah that'll happen but it's like i'll be dead so it's cool 
My body's not ready for it anyways. Yeah, yeah. I find your beauty thing like an interesting thing also because a lot of the stuff you perceive to be as beauty is artificially made. No, that's and true. And it's not dude. genetic. But there there are certain things though where it's like you you would rather see something smooth and curvaceous than something prolapsed and well, square and covered in hair, right? Well, Chet, what you would rather see thanks, is not what Chris. you Chris. Really that's, <laughs> Chet, that's what I'm talking a about. a lot. Where, okay, let's say you're somebody who smokes a lot and your lungs have holes in them, they're, they're fucking non-existent anymore, you're and you're just like, you're just like, I need a new organ. Yeah. I'll pay whatever for it. You get a new organ, it's a brand new lung, it functions exactly like the prior one because we've already discovered the enzymes or whatever to make the things work. The there you go. You have printer. a new lung and, and everything's better again because this is the world we live in. Yeah. We but need to fit, be comfortable. If something doesn't work, we get rid of it and fix it with something new. That's the fusion with technology. That's that's why the regressive form because we will just fit everything uh, around us to our uh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, even if we even if we have strokes and our fucking body starts shutting down, we still have ways. The sun's to gonna have it. like a solar flare and fuck up all our technology in like one day. Yeah. And we're gonna be screwed. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna be in the middle really of fixing think. a stroke and that's it. You know what? We were talking about uh, good looking people like evolving and shit. Like, I think that also comes from like when you look at something healthy, it looks like a certain way, and something unhealthy looks the other way. And things in the past looked unhealthier than they do now, right? I don't know. I mean, some people like a lot of people are really attracted to like Helena Bonham Carter, right? She looks like a fucking heroin addict corpse. <laughs> Who? But at the same time, some people think Kim Kardashian looks like a fucking bulbous human yeah, wreck of I guess it comes down to cosmetic things. Debauchery. That's yeah. what I think Miley Cyrus looks like personally. Yeah, right. But some people, yeah, so I think it's interesting. Like, it's also aesthetics too. Like, we're talking about, oh, good looking, you know, but look, some people like no butts. Some people like big butts. I like little monkey shoulder blades. Some people like things that look kind of sickly and whatever, <laughs> and, and some people yeah. like things that look super healthy. I think in the end, it doesn't come down, boil down to what people like, it's what they can obtain. What is obtainable to them. Sure. So you they always will, want what you don't have. No, like they, they might find like that girl on television you want really dick, hot, Chris? but they fuck their <laughs> ugly girlfriend. Yeah, also, and also yeah, Chris, even, even if there's like really pretty people, yeah. there's still that subset of people who are still really looking for those like slugs who spit out 10 babies, and they're still into it. <laughs> Well, our generation, <laughs> our generation, Slugs. we our, our tastes yeah. are very like fluid. This is something I think about a lot, where it's like p people focus on looks so much that an argument can be solved by saying like, "Yo, well, you look like a fat fucking idiot," and it's then true, everyone's like, true. "Ah!" And it's, it's like, true. "Why did he win that argument by saying that?" It's because every single person is obsessed with looks. So you it's know, it's, not it's fair. interesting you say that because Shad and I actually were talking about bananas today. Yeah, and the idea. That even in, I'm not saying I'm 100% along with the, you know, oh, looks will dictate evolution. However, I will say that a lot of foods that we have have yeah. been produced and manipulated genetically to look better yeah. and for, for people to better consume. Edible. So in that way, that is the evolution. Uh, like we, have, we have altered the evolution of certain foods just to aesthetically please Not only us. also cows and you know, like, like horses. Corn, right. And you know when you go to those like fucking like the Alamo But they're not even shit? more healthy. No, no It's you, not even like no, they're no. better for you. Know, you. you know it just looks better. You know when you go to like the Alamo and shit and there's like these like Indian people holding up like maize and corn and stuff and it's all like and dilapidated and red and oh, fucking those. disgusting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what corn used to look like. Until we spiced it up with a little bit of gene splicing. Yeah. Spiced it up? We made it look fucking bland as shit. It's this <laughs> fucking pale-ass yellow, yeah, but not, homogenous... Yeah, yeah, you know what? You're not sticking your, your fucking cursed red maize corn in... You're not sticking that. You're not sticking your fucking Alamo decoration into all your damn food you it's make. It's true. I wish I you're had You're putting more. your beautiful, like, vibrant yellow corn that we have make by the truckloads every few seconds... <laughs> And everything else. And by the way, that maize stuff was impossible to eat. It was like, it, had, it was fucking infected. It had like diseases. Really? Not, yeah. You first of you, all, how do you know you so much at, about this? Corner? I did a thing. If you look at maize, <laughs> yeah. if you look at maize originally, it was like it was nonsense. Like you, you got so much stuff from it, you couldn't eat it. It was actually painful to eat. It was sharp. It was hard to eat. But now we've made corn into like it's just delicious. 